Here we are guys, episode five of the Renegade Industrial Project Box. So, so far you've seen the tear down to motor and frame. The front guard, we completely fabricated and fitted that. There's billeted foot pegs. The exhaust is well on its way to being done. The handlebars, the, uh, the clip-ons. The subframe is nearly complete. And the tank, we've got a good start on the tank. So the, uh, the heat shields are there obviously to uh, protect, try and help protect your skin. They don't get as, as hot as the header pipes, but they still do get quite hot. But uh, yeah, if you bump your leg against it, it won't, it won't singe you immediately like the header pipes will. When we were front mount, you know, you've got, there's so much more uh, risk for burning your leg, but now that it's mid mounted, you, it just, it's cruisy as. Let's just put some fuel in it, go. So obviously as you see, we've made some cosmetic changes to the exhaust. We've put the original heat shield over the top, and obviously that gives the rider a little bit of leg protection when it comes to a stainless steel exhaust. All right, now, we've I just got to cut in here. We've had some heated discussions today because I suggested we should heat wrap the exhaust. Now, not all the way. I think we should trim this back to the hose plant behind here and then heat wrap down to the merge. Now we've put a poll up on Facebook, so those of you on uh, YouTube or Insta, <laughs> uh, just go over to our Facebook and vote, and those of you on Facebook, vote now. So I think there should be heat right there. Vince hates this stuff. So I will leave it up to you guys. Have you it's put in... it on before, mate? No, I haven't. You'll hate it no, after you wrap it up. it's probably easy. Yeah. It's super easy, but I'm not doing it. Uh, right, so it's up to you. It's in your capable hands, guys. Put the wrap on, vote yes. Hi, I'm Vince from Smoke Garage. Today we'll be fabricating the lower pan sections beside the shock absorber to cover up all the electrical components up under the seat. And I'll show you how it's done. First thing we do is make a cardboard template. This is for the under seat panels to cover all the wiring up near the shock. And so we can expose the shock down the center. So cardboard template first, aluminium. Trace it out, we guillotine to a rough shape. We finish it off at the end by hand. Uh, so there's a couple of folds and a couple of swages to be done on it. So now I've put a fold in it on the folder. So we'll take it just past 90 degrees so it curls away from the shock absorber because this is the part that faces in. just past 90 because we've got the shock that runs up here so we want to take it away from the shock to give it some clearance. Okay now I'm going to pump a little swage, a little boss through here so it's got clearance for the swing arm because it's um, center pivoted so the swing arm tucks under it. Now there's other ways of doing it, this is the old school way, I use a block of wood, I take out the section that I want out of the wood and we chop the lower side of it. And it gives you that, that swage. Why did we actually make these? Like, why are they, why are they there? Well, I made these covers because you've got a lot of wiring up under here, and uh, it'll be yeah. all unprotected. Yep. You have mud and all the little bits and pieces, and your, your computer sits under there, so yep. just to keep it tidy. And then once it's highly polished, we'll end up fitting lights under there as a decorative yeah, right purpose, yep. so it'll, it'll illuminate the tail. So we're uh, just 
fixing up the uh, mesh inserts for the side panels on the back of the bike, just to um, be a little more aesthetically pleasing. So obviously with the seat pan, vents, let's cut a template out, obviously measured it to the width of the tubing. Once you do a seat pan like this, we'll cut it out in some light gauge steel, which is one that we fabricated. And we do our foam work in the house as well. So we'll shape this up to suit the rear part of the bike. Obviously it's got the locking mechanism at the front, so it'll lock into the front of the bike so you're not going with the seat when it flies off. And you can see that'll just sit in there, lock into place. Happy days. Happy days, Bradley. Yeah. And what are we going to uh, line it with, mate? Pleather. Pleather. <laughs> yeah, pleather. Is this plastic nice. leather or? Yes, I believe it is. Yeah, it's not real cow. You could probably bring us a bit of that mate. from home or? I've got plenty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll just get it out of the cupboard. <laughs> and <we'll walk> in. <laughs> At night time, it'd be like you're spraying fire out of your ass while you're riding. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking send it. <laughs> oh, and then the seat goes on. I don't know the butchers look at that, would ya? See what I mean about the fire coming out your butt? You're like a phoenix. <laughs> Let me just kickstart it, ready? <laughs> Alright, again. Alright guys, in this episode you've seen us use the Renegade Industrial 150mm dustless air random orbital sander to uh, shape that seat up. And once again the 206 piece Renegade Industrial Polish Chrome Toolkit. And we also use the uh, Renegade Industrial 125mm cutoff wheels to cut that uh, heat shield down off the exhaust. And finally we use the um, Renegade Industrial 3.2 horsepower three cylinder, 310 litres per minute compressor to power the pneumatic tools to shape that seat down. In this episode, we did finish up the exhaust, but we got the pole too, so I want you guys to vote whether or not you want the heat wrap on there. Hopefully you vote yes, but I'm not gonna sway your vote. Uh, also, we, we done heaps of work around the tail section. We got the uh, windows cut out and put the mesh in there, which looks really cool. Uh, started shaping up the seat and um, I think that's about it guys, but anyway, make sure you follow us on the socials and keep up with all these episodes guys, so I'll see you on the next one. Alright guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe and leave any questions in the comment section below.